Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. I hope you're doing well today. I have got an IPA to review for you. Um, it's from Phantom Bruco, who, I mean, they're, they're, they're probably my favourite brewery in the world right now, Phantom. I love them. Um, apart from Sierra Nevada, who will always be my favourite brewery, I think. Um, Phantom, who are another one in Reading. Another one in the hotbed of craft brewing mastership. Is that a real word? Craft brewing class. Uh, yeah, Reading has become that hotbed of the best, as far as I'm concerned, the best craft beer in the country right now. Um, Double Barreled, uh, Dolphin, Elusive, Siren are all there. Uh, Phantom have been around now for a good few years. And well, I say a few years, about four or five years. But the last couple of years, they've really upped their game. I do a lot of work with them, uh, with Creative Juices Brewing Company, buy their beers in quite regularly. I was at London Craft Beer Festival last weekend, had a really good day, met up with some really good people. Um, Mark at the Craft Beer Hub, spent a lot of time with him, it was really good catching up with him, absolutely legend. Um, who else did I see? Kent Beer Reviews, uh, Craig, good to see you buddy. Uh, Paul and Michelle, uh, rate my beer, saw those guys. Um, I saw Jackman, good to see him. Um, I think that was it. Oh, Rasco, saw Rasco as well. Um, I drank a lot of Session Strength Hazy Pale Ales. That's where the industry's going at the moment. If I was trying to save a few quid, and understandably. Um, and I'd, I'd had a few, and then I went to Phantom to kind of check in with them and speak to my buddy Baxter. Shout out to Baxter at Phantom, who's the sales guy there. Really, really nice chap. And I had a check in with him and I tried everything that they had. Um, primarily because I pretty much already pre ordered all of it. Um, and they had this on. And this was my beer of the show. I had a lot of beer that day, but this was my favourite beer. And it just so happened that I'd already pre ordered a load of cans of it for work. Um, so here it is Venus. Venus IPA coming in at 6.8% ABV. Venus, of course, the goddess of love and sex and all that lovely stuff. Um, also the second planet from the sun. So it's all hot stuff up there. I'm pretty sure I've got that right. Second planet from the sun. 6.8%. This one has been hopped with Citra and Nelson, I think. Yes, Citra and Nelson, it's used a yeast strain of A38 juice. It has used lager, malts, oats and wheat. So it's going to be very soft. This beer was stunning. On keg and it was just what I needed. Of all these session hazy pails, I needed something with a bit more... A bit more oomph. A bit more hoppy character. A bit more of alcohol. A bit more of a kick. This gave me exactly what I wanted. And uh, here it is in can. And if this is as good as I remember it, we are looking at potentially beer of the year territory here. Um, because it was, it really was a like a palate changer. It absolutely blew my mind. There, oh, oh, look at the colour of that bad boy. There she is, Mrs. Venus. But there it is, Phantom are, I don't think I've actually done Phantom reviews on this channel before, which is awful because I love them. One of my favorite breweries, it's just so consistent. Their, their head brewer, whose name eludes me, uh, this year he's, he's he seems to be on a quest to release a new beer every week, which is incredible in itself. Um, but he's making a bloody good go of it because I'm getting new beers from, v, uh, from Phantom every couple of weeks at work, easy. Um, but there's the colour of this IPA, 6.8%. Uh, not much in the way of flavour text on Phantom beers. I don't really go for it, but their artwork is always incredible. Really good use of colour. Um, it looks incredible. Let me get me snouting. Let's see what these aromas are telling us from the Citra and Nelson. It's dank. It's juicy. It's hoppy. There's no getting away from it. That is a proper big New England style IPA. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. That is so good. Citra and Nelson. 
I mean, Citra has been a classic for a number of years now, right? Probably the most used beer in craft. Used beer? The used hop. The most used hop in craft beer. I think that's a safe statement to make. Um, but in the last 18 months, two years, Nelson has really come into his own. Nelson Savan, uh, Kiwi Hop. Again, big tropical vibes. Uh, you get kind of like a grapey sort of flavour from it as well. Really, really come into its own the last couple of years. And these two just married together quite beautifully. Um, lovely body on it. It's soft. It's tropical. It's juicy. It's, uh, it's not burpy. That's just me drinking a few beers this evening. Oh, oh it's glorious. Lots of tropical fruit. Like a mango, pineapple, passion fruit. And then there's a lovely, slightly spicy, bitter finish to it that balances it all out beautifully. Um, it doesn't taste like a 6.8. Because I think it kind of hides the, the alcohol quite well. Um, but it is as good as I remember it being on keg. Um, so this is... I'm gonna I'm gonna stay this right now. This is one of my beers of the year. This is gonna go on to the uh <clears throat> excuse me, I do apologize, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is gonna go onto my shelf for the end of year show for beers of the year. Um I was surrounded by some of the best craft beer in the country last week and I, I drank a lot of it. It's just my job. That's what I've got to do. Um but this was noticeably brilliant. Amongst all the great breweries that were there, this was noticeably brilliant. It was exactly what I needed at the time. And I thought then it hides the ABV very well. But it's dank, it's juicy, it's tropical, it's refreshing. It's absolutely beautifully made. Full-bodied. Um, this is Phantom for me at their best right now. And they're only going to get better because they're, they're all out to make a better beer every time they do it. And they're doing all this range of planets at the moment. So they've done Mars, Venus, they've got Uranus coming out very, very soon. I know a lot of you just laughed. Um, but they've got a lot of like, the planet things they're doing at the moment. And they're all really good. Really, really good. Um, and this is just no exception. This is a proper classic New England style IPA. Hoppy as hell, drinkable as hell, hides the ABV well. If you like your big, juicy IPAs and pale ales, I'm not sure anyone's doing it better than Phantom right now, in my opinion. I don't think anyone's doing it better than Phantom right now. This is a 10 out of 10 IPA all day long. It's a 10 out of 10. I think it's been a while since I've done a 10 out of 10. Um, Phantom. Venus. Absolutely glorious. I nearly forgot the name of it. That's how good it is. <laughs> Phantom Bruco, Venus IPA, absolutely incredible. My beer of show at London Craft Beer Festival 2024. For what it's worth, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed the review. Go check them out. Phantom Bruco, you will not be disappointed. 10 out of 10 for me. Give the video a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Until my next one, you take care.